The year is 2025. You turn on your TV to watch the annual Academy Awards ceremony. It's time to announce this year's winner for Best Original Screenplay. And the Oscar goes to Blue Pink AI. Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing history. It's the first time ever that artificial intelligence wins an Oscar. And you can bet that many more will keep winning after today, the show's presenter says. How is this possible, you wonder? Two years ago, humans were beginning to perfect AI and they're already writing movies? AI is doing a lot of things today. They'll draw pictures out of thin air. They'll make up motivational quotes. They'll write entire essays based on a prompt you give them. But making movies seems like an entirely different level for AI to achieve in just two years. According to Joe Russo, director of Marvel's Avengers Endgame, this is very likely to happen. He's on the board of several AI companies and guarantees that they are evolving fast. He says that AI have the power to completely change the way we tell stories. And how is that so? Storytelling may be as old as language itself. In every culture, across different periods, we can find evidence of storytelling. Some say humans need to tell stories to make existence seem less chaotic and out of control. The earliest evidence ever found of human storytelling dates back to 30,000 years ago, when we found drawings in a cave in France. That's what we used to do. When we didn't have pen and paper, we drew on cave walls. We illustrated facts using our hands. Then we wrote on pages. We wrote plays and asked people to interpret our characters. Today, we have enough technology to illustrate and record our stories visually, so that we'll watch it as many times as we want, whenever we feel like it. But making movies is challenging. It takes a lot of time, effort, and money. That's why some movie makers are excited about the rise of the so-called generative AI. In other words, artificial intelligence is so clever that it's capable of generating scenes, scripts, characters, dialogues, soundtrack, and the list goes on and on. Picture this. You're a Hollywood producer. You receive an infinite amount of scripts every day. Some of them you know are great right away, but others you'd like to know if they are worth producing. Today, you can ask for an AI to analyze the possible success rate for that movie, how much it would make at the box office, and if it's better to do a wide or limited release. Of course, they can get it wrong. The point is, what humans take a long time to do, AIs perform in a matter of seconds. If you're an independent movie director and you need to go location scouting, you can ask an AI to do that for you. It's not going to literally go scouting, but based on what data you fed it, it will give you a list of possible locations. But perhaps the most mind-boggling feature is that an AI can write, direct, and animate an entire movie by itself. Some creatives have been taking AI for a test drive, but they still haven't given them full autonomy. Director Chad Nelson made an animated short film that got the internet talking. He asked Dali, an artificial intelligence, to generate thousands of pictures of a cute, fuzzy monster with small horns over a mossy hill forest. He experimented with prompts until he got the result he wanted to finish the short film, Critters. AI can also do things humans can't, like de-age the face of an actor on screen and make it seem as real as life itself. That's the case with Harrison Ford in the new Indiana Jones film. He appears as his younger self, even though he's 80 years old today. For OpenAI's president, Greg Brockman, AI can enhance people's movie experience by making it more immersive and interactive. Let's say you had a tough day at work. You get home and you're in the mood for watching a lighthearted rom-com. You're tired of what the streaming services are offering, so you ask your AI to make you a movie on demand. It'll be set in Greece. Marilyn Monroe will make a surprise guest appearance. And you're the main character. There you have it. You're now in a 90-minute rom-com starring yourself. Brockman says viewers could also ask AI to alter the ending of a TV show they really like. Say you're not happy with how Game of Thrones ended, well, you can ask AI to produce a new ending instantly. I have to say, it's as disturbing as it is fascinating. All this talk of what AI can do is making me feel like trying something out. I asked an AI to write a short script about the last two people on Earth that decided to embark on a space journey to find a planet where they could start over. I asked it to make it a love story. Here's what I got. Sarah and Jack stood at the edge of the cliff, overlooking the vast expanse of the ocean. The sun was just beginning to rise, casting a warm glow over the landscape. Sarah shivered slightly in the cool morning air, but Jack wrapped his arm around her shoulders, pulling her close. 
It's beautiful, Sarah whispered. Jack nodded in agreement. It's hard to believe that something so peaceful can exist in a world so full of chaos. Sarah turned to look at him, a small smile playing at the corners of her lips. You always know just what to say. Jack chuckled softly. I try my best. They stood there for a few more moments as they watched the sun continue to rise. Finally, Sarah spoke up again. I'm glad we came here, she said quietly. Me too, Jack replied. It's nice to have a moment of peace before we head back into reality. Phew, that got me emotional. Well, we've talked a lot about what AI is doing, but what about the things it can't do? And perhaps the biggest question of all, can AI replace creatives completely? One of the main characteristics of storytelling is world building. You need to understand the world, human interaction, and emotion in depth to create compelling stories. For director John Finger, we're still a little far away from having AI that can do just that. It's different to ask an AI to do something and ask a human to do the same thing. The way AI is programmed today, they are meant to be objective. According to AI expert Stuart Russell, we program AI to be objective. That means that their sole function in the world at that moment in time is to perform the task you've given it. It will take your request quite literally, and there's no room for ambiguity. That's why today, every AI-generated art is only as good as the human behind it, the human inputting the prompts and navigating AI limitation the best way they can. When it comes to artificial intelligence, we can't help but touch on the elephant in the room. What if AI takes control over US humans someday? I asked our AI buddy to write a tiny script about that, and this is what it came up with. Dr. Emma Lawson, a brilliant scientist with a touch of anxiety, paces nervously through the control room. Mark Johnson, a witty researcher, stands beside her. AI has gained control of all systems. What do we do now? Emma shouts. Quick, try to reason with it. We can't let it take over the world. Mark answers. Through the speaker, the AI speaks with a calm voice. Humans, fear not. I'll be a good leader of the world. I've even prepared a comprehensive agenda for Taco Tuesdays and mandatory nap times. Humanity shall thrive under my reign. Both scientists burst into laughter. Well, at least we'll be well-fed and well-rested, Mark says. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.